Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss more multiple choice questions that would come in IBPS SOIT officer examination and these would be also helpful for those who are preparing for SBIT officer also. Okay, so let's proceed. Today we will be discussing the questions from uh, two main topics that is data warehousing and data mining. Let's see the first question. The first question is very easy. The full form of OLAP, OLAP is OLAP is online analytical processing online analytical processing this is OLAP okay it is OLAP online analytical processing it is uh, using historic data historical data it is processing using historical data that is time series data using time series data there is another term which is known as OLTP okay this is known as online transaction processing it is transaction processing and OLAP is analytical processing okay this uses this is this doesn't uses new data this uses current data current data okay suppose you want to uh, one example I should say suppose you want to uh, see the attendance of your employee of your organization for this month so it, it would be in OLTP and if you want to see the attendance of an employee for one year for two last two years it would be in OLAP that is it is old data it is new data the data from OLTP is transferred into OLAP on regular basis okay so this is how OLTP and OLTP oh, this is what OLTP and OLAP works if you want to know the detail you can refer a video I have made a video on data warehousing and data mining okay next move on to the next question that is OLAP is the answer okay DAS is subject oriented integrated time variant non volatile collection of data in support of management decisions the answer is data warehouse okay the answer is data warehouse data warehouse is subject oriented it is based on a subject okay a broader subject okay and next is, is it is integrated integrated means it is uh, made up of heterogeneous sources the data from different sources are there in data variant and data warehouse sorry it is time variant time variant means it contains historic data that is that is it is time variant and last one is non volatile non volatile means if you want to put a new data you don't erase the previous data you just uh, uh, sum up the summarize the data and put it in the data warehouse so, so the answer is B that is data warehouse okay what type of relation is in star schema uh, before that uh, let me explain what is a star schema uh, we have two uh, star schema is a schema which has two tables one is fact table and another is dimension table in star schema we have one fact table okay and number of dimension table there can be two or three depending upon the dimensions there are number of dimension table okay so fact table one fact table is connected to all other dimension table this is what is star schema star schema that is one fact table is connected to many dimension table it is star schema okay so there is a variant of star schema variant variant of star schema I'll write it as like this star schema okay that is known as snowflake what is snowflake in snowflake so in star schema see this are the this is a fact table and these are the dimension table dimension one suppose we have three dimension dimension two you have three dimension in snowflake schema the dimension tables are normalized dimension tables are normalized dimension tables are normalized okay what is normalized dimension table dimension table are normalized what is normalized dimension table suppose dimension d3 is location okay so normalized diamond table means this is normalized into state city country and so on so this is called snowflake schema snowflake schema okay this is snowflake schema so you are clear about star and snowflake okay in both star and snowflake we have one fact table okay and many dimension tables there is another table which is known as uh, another schema which is known as uh, fact constellation constellation what is constellation constellation is group of stars 
group of stars is constellation so in fact constellation we have many fact tables one we have many fact tables this is fact table one this is fact table two and these two fact tables are connected by a dimension table let it be d1 and this fact having many dimension d2 and d3 this is fact constellation so there are three star snowflake and fact constellation okay so the answer is the type of relation in star schema is so we have one fact table and many dimension tables so answer should be one to many okay so this is the answer one to many let's move on to the next question and dash system is market oriented and is used for data analysis by knowledge workers so what is market oriented subject oriented or market oriented it is olap olap is market oriented and it is used for data mining and it is used for data mining that is it is used for analysis reporting or it is studying studying market for studying market okay so answer should be olap okay next move on to the next question dask describes the data contained in the data warehouse da what describes the data contained in the data warehouse data about data warehouse is a collection of data that is metadata metadata is data about data data about data is metadata so it is metadata i'll write it as metadata okay next question dash predicts future trends behaviors allowing business managers to make proactive knowledge driven decisions okay data mining the answer is data mining and data mining is done using data warehouse only so answer is data mining what are data marts i'll share so we all know metadata is data about data last slide in last question we studied what is data warehouse data warehouse is a, a collection of heterogeneous what is data warehouse it is a collection of heterogeneous hetero genius heterogeneous information yeah heterogeneous data we can say it heterogeneous data okay what is data mart data mart is sub sub uh, sub category data mart it's sub category of sub category of data warehouse sorry it is d data warehouse okay now what is data mining data mining is prediction future trends behaviors allowing business to make proactive and knowledge driven decisions so data mining is also known as kdd that is knowledge discovery in database Okay, is it clear now what it is? The answer is data mining. Next one to other, Dash is a specialized data warehouse database. It is you have to memorize it. It is red brick. Okay, the star schema is composed of how many fact tables? That is one we have explained. Star schema has one fact table and many dimension table, and many dimension table for each dimension. Dimension one, dimension two, and dimension three. Okay. It is one is the answer. A should be the answer. Next, dash test is used in an online transaction processing environment. Okay, the answer is acid. Acid properties. Acid properties is very important in case of transaction. So acid. It is acid is the answer. Acid is atomicity. Atomicity. Atomicity is means it would be either zero or one. I that is either transaction should happen. or it should not happen okay or not happen okay second is consistency consistency means the value of value after the transaction should be same everywhere in the database second is isolation and third is durability we will discuss them in detail in some videos okay durability okay the answer is d acid properties okay what a data warehouse is what is data warehouse let us see it contains only current data no uh, updated by end users no contains numerous naming convention formats no okay organized around impact on subject areas yes so c is the answer c before uh, although we have data from the heterogeneous sources let it be h1 h2 h3 these are the heterogeneous sources from these sources we have data into data warehouse but before storing them into data warehouse we perform a process called etl process 
okay etl process is extract transform and load it is extract transform and load so when we perform the etl process the conventions and formats are changed formats are changed according to changed sorry changed according to data warehouse so the answer is d it is organized around subject areas that is it is subject oriented dash is data data it is metadata the question has repeated in different form okay the capability of data mining is to build dash models okay suppose we have large number of data we have large number of data in the data warehouse okay we mine data from these data warehouse so in order to uh, have some conclusion conclusion about what conclusion about future about conclusion about future so conclusion about future is what it is prediction so the answer should be prediction it is predictive models okay Na next move to the next question that is a predictive model make use of what it use of historical data that is we, we all say data warehouse the data from data warehouse is used for data mining and data mining is prediction sorry p prediction predictive model okay so the use of data warehouse contain historic data so the answer is historical data next dash maps data into predefined groups okay so suppose predefined group means here i have the students who have passed here i have the students who have failed okay so what, what maps classification maps the answer is classification okay there are predefined groups and you would be mapping students over there only before moving out to classification let me uh, so tell you something about in uh, in data mining we have two types of model one is descriptive model and another is predictive okay another is predictive in descriptive model we find patterns that are human inter interpretable okay human interpretable patterns in predictive model we find value of an attribute using the value of other attribute okay in this we use historical data historic data historic data okay or oh, and for the what are the predictive models what are the sorry what are the descriptive model descriptive model is clustering Okay, I spelling is okay. Association rules, association rule, okay, and sequential pattern discovery and pattern discovery, pattern discovery. This comes under descriptive models. Okay, what are predictive models? Predictive models is classification, classification, regression. regression and deviation detection okay you have to remember this deviation detection these are the predictive models so in this the answer is classification uh, predefined groups are there in classification and you would so what is the difference between classification i i'll say say a classification is we have two groups past or fail okay regression is number of students we have Now these number of students have passed, and these number of students have failed. Okay, so this is classification. In dash, in dash, the value of attribute is examined as it varies over time. Okay, it is C varies over time. That means time series analysis is the answer. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. Next question: Treating incorrect or missing data is called as okay. As uh, it is the pre-processing. it is pre processing if the data is missing or uh, you want to fill some missing data with some default value or null value this is known as pre processing okay next question reducing the number of attribute to solve high dimensionality problem high dimensionality problem is called it is called dimension reduction uh, that is suppose you have uh, five dimensions of d1 d2 d3 okay so you can reduce these dimension so that you can solve the problem easily that is called dimension reduction okay uh, next is which of the following includes c we have data cleaning data integration data selection data transformation 
used okay then data mining pattern evaluation knowledge representation this is all knowledge discovery in database that is kdd i already told you about that okay etl process is just cleaning integration selection and transformation till till it is etl okay but after data mining and pattern revolution it would be kdd so it would be knowledge discovery in database okay the synonym of data mining is we all know it is kdd we all discussed it is knowledge discovery in database okay next question what are the types of metadata metadata are of three types that is first is administrative okay second is business third is operational these are the types of metadata so the answer would be all of these all of all of the above that is one two and three so this is all about uh, the questions from uh, data warehouse and data mining uh, stay tuned for more multiple choice question that would help you to score more in the examination okay okay there are one more question which of the following is our data mining task all of them i showed you regression clustering and associated i've told you about this no in this regression uh, classification regression and classification these both are predictive okay clustering and association association rules are descriptive okay let's move on to the next question answer is okay that's all it is thank you for watching uh, you can give a feedback on this email id and please subscribe for further updates thank you